Welcome to the magical world of science. Today, we're going to explore how plants need water and the right temperature to grow healthy and strong. I'm Miss Ray and I'm thrilled to be joined by a very curious scientist in the making, Kyra. Hi Miss Ray. I'm excited to learn about plants today. Great. Let's start by thinking about why plants need water. Have you ever noticed what happens to a plant if it doesn't get enough water? Hmm, I think it might look droopy or sad. Exactly. Without enough water, plants can wilt and eventually die. Water is like a magic potion for plants. It helps them stand tall and make their food. How does the water get to all parts of the plant? That's a fantastic question. Water is absorbed by the roots from the soil and travels up the stem to the leaves and flowers. It's like a super highway inside the plant. Well, that's cool. So do plants need a lot of water? Well, it depends on the plant and the environment. Let's do a little experiment to find out how much water plant stems use. Are you ready? Yes, let's do it. You'll need a narrow jar, five leafy stems, and some water. Place the stems in the jar and measure the water level. What do you think will happen to the water level after five days? I think the water level will go down because the plants will drink it. Great prediction. Mark the water level at the start and check it each day. This will help us see how much water the stems use. Okay, I'll do that. What about temperature? Does it matter for plants? Absolutely. Plants need the right temperature to grow well. Some plants like it warm, while others prefer cooler places. If it's too hot or too cold, they might not survive. How can we test this? We can plant seeds in different places. One warm, one at room temperature, and one in the cold. Then we observe how they grow. What do you think will happen? Maybe the seeds in the warm place will grow faster. That's a good guess. Observing and recording what happens will help us understand how temperature affects plant growth. This is fun. I feel like a real scientist. You are doing great. Now, let's think about how water moves up tall trees. Some trees are over 80 meters tall. How do you think water reaches the top? Maybe it climbs up like a ladder. Close. Water travels through tiny tubes in the stem all the way to the leaves. We can see this by adding food coloring to water and watching it move up a white flower or celery. That's amazing. I want to try that too. It's a fun way to see science in action. Now, can you summarize what we've learned today? Sure. Plants need water to stay healthy and the right temperature helps them grow. Water moves up through the plant, and we can measure how much they use. Fantastic summary. Thank you for joining the magical world of science. Keep being curious, and remember, there's always more to discover in science.